Then the servant said, Suffer it now. Naaman then went to the Jordan River, washed and was completely cleansed. Can you realize now there is no faith apart from the word of God? When you are told not to sin again, and you accept it and comply with the instructions, when you are told apparition, witchery, concoction and ghost do not exist, and you accept and believe they do not exist. I declare from the high heaven there is no witchcraft, but you sit and make a counter declaration there are wizards and witches everywhere, and that people should not mind me, you strongly believe in the existence of witchery but that the wizards can no longer harm you. It is not only shameful, but disgraceful with regard to such persons with these beliefs. Do you think, if you do not believe in the word of God, you will have salvation? The word of righteousness. Do not say within your heart, who shall ascend into heaven, to bring our Lord Jesus Christ from above, or who shall descend into the deep or heads, to bring up our Lord Jesus Christ again from the dead. What has righteousness said? It says, the word is nearer to you, even in your mouth and in your heart, that is the word of faith, which we preach. For, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and shall believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. The first lesson will now be read. First Bible lesson, Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Do not doubt God and do not sin. Brethren, have you heard what is read to you? The words you hear now, can vividly be confirmed by Christ's student by Matt Packman. He is my witness. He stood here and complained, he was worried by wizard and witches and I halted him immediately, to nip his contemplation in the bud. I told him witchcraft does not exist. From that day on, after hearing the word of the Father, he no longer believes in the existence of witchery. If you tell him somebody is worried by witchcraft and mermaid, he will laugh at you to scorn, for faith comes from the word. What word? The word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every day you are told, there is no witchcraft, no apparition, no mermaid but you continue to complain, you are bewitched. You are making this complaint, because you do not hear the word of God, neither do you believe in Christ. You are warned not to doubt your God and not to fornicate, but you still doubt God and you fornicate. This is, because you do not hear the word of God and you do not believe in God, how will you be saved? Really is those who do not hear the word of God, and are not prepared to practice it, are the children of perdition. There is nothing that can't save man from this adulterous world, except the word of God. Faith is the substance of things spoke for the evidence of things not seen. Remember, the Samaritans did not possess the Holy Spirit. But when the Samaritan woman told them about our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, and when our Lord Jesus Christ met the Samaritans, what did they say? The holy oil cannot give you faith, you can drink any quantity of the oil, it will not give you faith. What is referred to as faith, is the word of God, the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe, assimilate, and practice the words of God, then you have faith. All that you see physically cannot be faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen and yet you believe. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. What is the evidence of things not seen? It is only the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. To believe is to be saved. You have been told God is now on earth, but you still gaze at the sky. You are told, our Lord Jesus Christ indwells you, he is in your house, and that he is everywhere, but you do not believe, unless you see him physically. All those who believe fervently in these words are saved. Do not believe money can give you faith, or that man can bestow faith on you. It is only the word of God that can endow any person with faith. What is causing trouble and confusion in the world is lack of belief in the word of God. And it is only believing in the word of God that will make this world a perfect place for all. For it is fulfilled in everyone according to the proportion of faith one possesses. When those two spies were sent to Jericho to spy and return to give their report, if they had no faith in their God, the children of Israel would not have made any attempt to go to Jericho. But when one was giving the report subjectively, the other discouraged him and gave a report such that would minister faith to the hearers. Now, if somebody tells you, you are worried by witchcraft, you believe and become weak. If you are told you are dying, you believe and die also. But if you are told, you will live eternally, you begin to argue, even our Lord Jesus Christ did not live eternally, and that no person has eternal life. As you begin to fear death and so you die, who is to blame? 
If you are cold, you will no longer be sick. You start to argue, you have been sick from birth, you always suffer from malaria. I am taking you up and you are dragging yourself down. Can you realize, you have no faith? Every time you require the father to place his hands on your head or touch your head. How is that beneficial to you? I want to touch the hem of your garment. Of what use is that to you? Or you ask for the thick, white oil, what is the use of it to you? Or I want to have private audience with the father. Why is that necessary? Faith comes through hearing the word, what word? The word of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why you are invited to hear this gospel. When you hear, there is no witchcraft, no mermaid, no apparition, no concoction, and that nothing can kill any person, and you believe fervently, it means you believe and you are free. But when you are told to go, your infirmity is healed, your poverty is taken away and all your problems are solved, someone will surreptitiously advise you not to listen, because God helps those who help themselves. There is someone somewhere who consults Oracle very well, and he will dictate what your trouble is, with a view to solving it, and if you disobey the instructions of God and follow him, does this behavior of yours show you have faith? Do not toy with the word of God. Who do you think is responsible for all the wonderful work you witness here? It is said, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. John chapter 1 verse 1. It is the word that has done everything in the world. Do not toy with the word of God. Always come to listen to the word of God, and any gospel you hear, assimilate, comply yourself with it and practice it. Hear the words of God and preach to others. This gospel is not meant for only you. But what you have heard, preach to others who are not as fortunate as yourself, and as many as will listen to the word you impart to them, will also have life. Our Lord Jesus Christ was using earthly situations to illustrate heavenly situations. The five loaves of bread which our Lord Jesus Christ used to feed 5,000 persons, were not bread per se, Mark chapter 6 verses 37 to 43, Luke chapter 9 verses 13 to 17, but symbolized the word of God. Because, after they have eaten to their fill, there were gathered up twelve baskets of the fragments that remained. That is to say, after you have heard, apparition, juju, concoction, witchcraft are not in existence, and that only God exists, and you believe and you are satisfied, you are saved, you will then go and impart such a belief to those who still believe in such diabolical things. It is always a pitiful situation to observe, those who profess to be real brotherhood, when they go to receive the Father's blessing, after the Father had blessed them with prayers and has told them, go, all is well, they will still sit back and go to see the Father privately. The Gospel says faith comes by hearing the word, what word? The word of Christ. All those who always want to see the Father privately, do not hear the word of God and therefore they have no faith. That is why, our Lord Jesus Christ says, the children of God hear the word of God, but you do not hear, because you are of the world. John chapter 8 verse 47. The word of God is like a lamp set upon a hill which casts its brightness to the surrounding areas. Listen to the words of God and believe in them. Even though you do not hear the word of God, yet someone, who is outside this hall will believe and put these words into practice and be saved but you shall remain here for years without complying with any instructions of the gospel, as given. Right now a great many of people have repented of their sins having heard these gospels, and on reading even one of our pamphlets, but you remain here for many years, indulging in all acts of sin, which means, you neither hear the word of God nor do you have faith. From this year onward, it is incumbent upon the children of God to hear the words of God. Whosoever hears the words of God has faith, Always open your ears and listen to the word of God preached to you, give full concentration, empty your heart, open your ears and eyes and always focus your attention on the gospel, the gospel which is being delivered to you. It does not matter whether you have the ability to practice the gospel but you must first sit down quietly and listen to the sermon preached. During the sermon, everybody should sit in absolute humility to receive the word of God. During such an occasion do not converse with any person, do not make any inquiry, and do not move about and do not move in and out of the building, and do not disturb others, but always listen to the word of God attentively. Concentrate your attention on the Father and receive the word of life. This is faith and faith comes from hearing the word of God. It is better to hear the word of God than to serve tables. Do you remember the story of Martha and her sister Mary? 
when our Lord Jesus Christ visits.